Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Let's Chicken Game here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a hold E to pick up a weapon big game Roblox using the Roblox feature called Proximity Points. You'll be able to hold down E on your keyboard or a button on your controller, and then you'll be able to pick up a weapon of your choice. Alright, so let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is insert a folder inside of server storage. And then just name this folder weapons. And all you need to do is just get a weapon from the toolbox. Um, it could be a gun. I'm just going to take in this gun because it was the first thing, first weapon I've seen in the toolbox. So once you've got your weapon, all you need to do is grab the handle, duplicate the handle, and then drag it into the workspace like that. Then drag the handgun or whatever the weapon it is inside of the weapons folder and save storage and now you have a replica of of the weapon in the workspace but you cannot you cannot use this you cannot just stand over and pick it up so what you need to do now um, you, you can just take everything out of here all you need to have in here is a proximity point and a script so to uh, so at the proximity point you can just change the keyboard and um, key code thing on your keyboard so by default it's set to E but you can set it to any button you want um, by going through this list go through this list and find out which button you want your keyboard users to be able to press and you'll be able to change the hold duration um, which is how long you want your players to hold down the button for so I just want my players to hold it down for about 2 seconds and then this is the button that players are going to be used when they play on controller. Um, so I'm just going to keep it on button X. And this is how far away your players will be able to use the proximity point. So if you want, if you want your players to be like within close pro proximity, then you'll probably want to have this a lower number. But if you want your players to be able to access this from far away, then you might want to put this a high number. Um, the action text is usually just uh, interact by default, but you can change this to like I'm going to change mine to pick up because I want players to pick up the weapon. But this can be whatever you want. All these settings in here do not matter, these are your choice. Um, and the object text is just going to be uh, wh whatever it is the players are using. So the object in my case is going to be a handgun. So I'm just going to put handgun in there, click up delete. So once you went through the settings of your proximity point, you're going to need to go in inside your script and then just copy everything that I type word for word, make sure you get all the capitalization correct also, just so that you don't type anything wrong. Alright, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so the script should be done now. Also, guys, I did forget to mention that and the um, handgun inside of the workspace must have the same name as the, um, the same thing inside of the weapons folder. Um, so my weapons folder's name is handgun. So I'm just gonna name this handgun also, just so that I'll be able to find it inside of the folder. All right, just loading the game now. So if I go over to the gun. And I'm going to hold it. And it's going to give me the handgun and I'll be able to use it. Just like that. And it's not going to let me pick up a second one because I put in that if statement. Which checks if the player hasn't got it already. So if I do it again, it's not going to, it's not going to give me it because I've already got it in my inventory. So if this video helps you want to see more, then make sure you like, subscribe, turn the bell to be notified when that video comes out. Also my belief for just just into the comment section down below for a shout out more videos. See so, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.